The greatness of America is really supposed to be the ability for Americans to change direction and correct their mistakes. The Statue of Liberty is really a symbol of the rape culture. It has been sold to us as a symbol of freedom. Freedom within reason, within the bounds of sacred morality, is what I desire. There's nothing wrong with that. Hidden symbols, symbols of evil, sold to us as symbols of good, is what I have a problem with. And certainly, when you follow that train of thought to its finish, I have a problem with the ideas that they're referring to. Persephone, pro serpina, serpent, serpina, based on Persephone and her mother Demeter. Libera, Ceres, and Liber. Talk about a series of events and how serious this is. This is serious. What you see is that Persephone was kidnapped by Hades, and over time, she gets used to him. That is the idea of the story. He tricks her in one version to eat pomegranate seeds, and that means she has to stay in hell forever. She's bitten the forbidden fruit. She's eaten the forbidden fruit, so to speak. And now she's stuck in the tree of knowing better and participating in a series of repugnant and diabolical events. This odious behavior, this odious ideology is being forced on the masses. When Romans embraced the idea of prosopina, they said that she was more, her women taken on and channeling uh, the idea of prosopina was morally desirable for respectable Roman women. And this is the foundation of Western culture. Morally desirable. And why is that? Is it because it changes the direction of society for the good? The Romans were so tricky and so low down that even savage, basically satanic pagan peoples resented them. The Statue of Liberty is based on many ideas, Isis, Hera, etc. These are just variations of women that feed into the greater rape culture. And we look at the scales of Athena. Athena, who turned Arachne into some undesirable beast and life form because she was showing her the, how the gods treat men in a way that was respectable, more respectable in her weaving than Athena's own. Certainly, she has a broken scale, and she's marshalling society in the spirit of envy, so to speak. Hera, right? Isis, Hecate, deities that are undesirable. Even when I used to watch the, the Hercules series when I was younger, they would talk about how the, the Greco-Roman deities were, uh, the Greek deities specifically, rather, were petty and evil. Petty and evil. Absolutely they were. Forcing you to embrace their statues and figures and people starting to shape themselves into those images. When people for generations have been shaping themselves into evil images with an evil culture that is sold to us as good, that gives you little bootlickers pittances, right? Welfare, right? Well, we give them money. We completely suppress them and oppress them. We give them a, a few crumbs and call it huma you know, being humane. We pretend that we are intellectually superior, that we are more intelligent than they are. And we bend over backwards to make it true by drugging them, by uh, bringing cocaine into the black communities, bringing crack, uh, putting, you know, give, make it so they're disproportionately diagnosed with mental illness. We're putting lead, you know, allowing lead in, in, in the water in Flint and Chicago, even right here in Morgan Hill, as a history of contaminated water. Places where rich people, the super rich, don't live. 
where the sort of rich have special access to food and water that other people, generally speaking, don't have. To cleaner water. To more healthy food. Do you think it's a coincidence that they seem to look healthier than other people? Do you think that's how it should be? How hard should it be for people to have access to healthy food and water? Certainly, as you're unhealthy, it affects your cognition and your ability to recognize your own recognition. When you think about it, this leads us to the inevitable conclusion that I am the spiritual representative of the most noble of all ancestors. Why? Because we all come from Africa and people were reacting to the martial arts order. The white man's culture, so to speak, isn't the only culture based on serpents, right? Proserpina. The T is the feminine suffix. When you're talking about a female deity, you do not need the T in serpent for that reason. And bat proves my point to a T. On record, the T in bat is referred to as the feminine suffix. Psyche and Logos, psychology. Therapist, the rapist. Yes, it is a rape culture. Yes, quote unquote, magic was unofficially used to mold society, alchemy, to create a society with, uh, behind the scenes and otherwise, with the deities as the ideas that people were emulating and channeling, like fans wearing their favorite uh, group's t shirt or sweater or whatever. Okay? People emulate their idols, people emulated the deities. Women are told to evolve and to con form to the image and the ideas of Persepina, which is basically a despicable harlot with a cloak. Reminds me of the people that used to flash people. You know, they would wear some trench coat and they would flash people. The sewers right? Certain prostitutes in certain places uh, would, would walk above certain areas and they would let people, their customers, the potential Johns would look up and they would see up their dress, so to speak, in, in, in their naked body from below and they would say, they would go around and go out there and they would pay for uh, their prostitution, their services. Okay. This is part of the culture. It is a whore culture. It is to mislead women the fire of Prometheus, the torch as a symbol of Persephone and Pros Proserpina by default. Okay, grain was also her symbol. That also goes back to the virgin and the child, right? Is she really a virgin? To people who are of this world, who look for pragmatic, rational, functionalist uh, uh, explanations, realist explanations, is she still a virgin? No, she is a virgin who was violated. That's what the Statue of Liberty represents. The violation of women who are brought from around the world who don't look quite so much like a harlot as the people who've been here for quite some time. Now, you can pretend I'm wrong. You can be offended. But bottom line, what I am saying is best for everybody. Just because you're not the fastest runner, should you not jog in the morning? Should you not exercise? Should you not give recognition to those who are faster than you are? Is there a genetic component? Is it a result of their forefathers' activities and breeding? It is stupid to let your faults and your image prevent you from doing the right thing. This is where we get the idea of a bitch as a female dog. Even if she looks like the Statue of Liberty or the Virgin Mary herself, deep down she is the gold digger. That gold digger can put on an act and dress like the Virgin Mary. Her label means nothing. Her image means nothing. And I could look into her eyes and look at her behavior and look at how she treats people and say, that is actually a harlot dressed like the Virgin Mary. That's what she is. And yes, her family set her up to be that with their false pride. 
they did not go out of their way to effectively impress upon her why it is wrong to be a conformist modern harlot. The female dog, the bitch, right? She sleeps around. She's an ugly mind, body, and soul. She's not necessarily ugly in the flesh alone. Again, she can put on makeup and make up for the fact that she's an evil harlot. She can look more like a Virgin Mary. She has an ugly mind and soul. And certainly, if you look carefully, you can see it in her micro expressions, etc., that she is actually an ugly whore in a slut kind of shape. She did not forge her body with righteous indignation, but with science and technology that allows a slut to take on a sexy shape that inspires lust in inferior men, especially the kind of garbage that she dates and reproduces with damning her children to be scum. It is a mating process that pairs women with scum. You cannot even begin to effectively address the societal ills in society if you do not address this mating process that pairs women with repugnant, rapacious, and spiritually ferocious scum with their toxic, poisonous philosophies that are destroying humanity, making us overweight, drugging people, and bringing in mind control, which is nothing more than the evolution of psychology to the point where you no longer say, hey, that's kind of a psychological effect. No, that is dramatic and powerful mind control done by the West, in the concrete jungle, in the natural environment, those who defied the martial arts order, it was called witchcraft because it worked in the natural environment with primitive people, with a more educated people. In an information age, you need more dramatic psychology to get people who should know better than to take on the norms of the people that wiped their people out to conform to that savage oppressor's social norms and repugnant variations, you know, variety of cultures. That is where we are. People need to look inside of themselves and say to themselves, you are less than those martial artists and those spirit warriors, whatever you call them, who fought to the death. They knew that to live meant that they were going to conform to evil. And it is better to die than to conform to evil. The meek do not inherit the earth. Those who submit to the heaven, they go to, those who submit to the martial art order die in a way that is right with God, with the creator. It is the sharks it is the snakes. It is the unforgivably wicked scum that survive. Serpent, good sir, survivor, and pro serpina. Utter garbage. So, yes, you can go back to being gang stalkers. You can go back to propagating despicable falsehoods and mind control. But make no mistake, you are embracing the inferior of the three mind, body, and soul, which is the body. You are rejecting the spirit. It's a total loss. You know? You lose everything. All you have left is a despicable mind control vessel. Total loss. Or you can question this thing.